Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome finally to the first visual episode of Entertainment Exchange. Across from me, way on the other side of the table, I can't even reach him. He's way too far. I don't even want you to reach me, bro. It, <laughs> it's my co-host Wayne, whatever your middle name is, Ooh. Web. Hey, bro, this is the first time we're live. You gotta say it right. You have to. You have to say it right. It's your, I it's your... am Wayne B. Hat Trick Wizzy Web boy. That's right. For those of you who are listening via podcast. You need to check out the YouTube video because this is our first visual podcast. So you'll get to see our, you know, amazing faces, a.k.a. John Boyega, a.k.a. Mahershala Ali. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and today we have a special guest with us. Today we have a man by the name of Anthony Vereen. Anthony, why don't you say what's up to the people? What's up, my people? How y'all doing? What's up, bro? These guys are crazy. I'm just <laughs> going to tell you that right now. I love it. Anthony, you have the pleasure of being our very first guest. I'm honored. I'm honored. How do you feel? I feel like I made it in life, man. I just want to thank God and my producer, hey, hey, my hey, manager. Yeah, my, yeah, what a trophy everybody. at? What a trophy at? We, I don't, uh, we don't have uh, one. We don't have one. Not yet. We'll put it up on the. We'll put it up on the wall. There we go. Do I get to sign the wall? Yeah, you can sign the wall. Yeah, yeah you can sign, sign the wall. We gonna get everybody to sign the wall. It's gonna sign be. It's gonna be great, guys. Sign it's gonna be wall. great. So Wayne has got some questions for you. Wow, I do. Yeah. Are you ready? I, hey, we're not going to put you on the spot or anything, but we kind of are. Yeah, I kind of yeah. just did. Though. Yeah. So this All is right. why you're here. All right. I'm All right. Ready. So you ready? I'm ready. Question number one. Hmm. Who are you really? Who am I really? Ooh. Uh, I'm a good Christian black man. I pay my taxes. <laughs> I go to church. Wow. Uh, <laughs> the man, I, I really am. I'm just somebody that uh, if I'm passionate about something, I'm a... I'm going to go after it with uh, everything that I have. I love to give back. I love to share the knowledge that I've learned along the way. And so if I get something good, if I hear something good, uh, and I've researched it and it works, I like to share that to everybody else. So I think I'm I think I'm an okay guy, but usually it's hard to trust somebody that says they're okay, Ooh. but I think I'm an okay guy. Okay. What do your actions say? They line up with that. They line, they line up, up with okay, that. Good. They yeah, line yeah, up yeah, that. Yeah. that was my next question. Oh. <laughs> We had we had to uh, take the screen off of Vereen's mic because just just knocked it out the way. Just yeah, he, yeah. he punched cool. it. There's a hole in it. Yeah, we ain't getting no check for that. Oh like, yeah, it's, gonna, it's a long. <laughs> I didn't sign story. anything. They get, <laughs> ain't getting anything from Should've me. Made him sign something when he walked up here. Yeah, and you, for real. And you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, what's question number two for Mr. Question Vereen? Numero dos. In your industry, what is the most important quality to have to succeed? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. We get deep here in Entertainment Exchange. I see. Uh, now, before you answer, why don't you tell everyone what your industry is that you work so in? So, I'm in athletics. I'm uh, working uh, basketball. Uh, I'm currently with the Santa Cruz Warriors and their G League team, which is the affiliate of Golden State Warriors. And I also do some scouting for uh, both of the organizations in, uh, in the offseason. I would say professionalism and just building up credibility. Uh if you're going to talk about a guy or you feel strongly about this player, this person, if you're known to be somebody that's professional and then you're also known to have like, hey, man, we can trust this guy. If you have those two things working in your background, I think you can do more. You can be more successful. And that's what something I'm trying to build that from a player to this side of, uh, of the, the business that I want to show people that, hey, when I say something, it should matter because I'm professional, but I also have the credibility and the knowledge to know what I'm talking about. I like it. So let me let me ask you a follow up question. When you see the like, how do you delineate and how do you decide professionalism in some of those people that you scout? Is it how they carry themselves? Is it is, their is game it, necessarily? And and you know what? It's it's funny because when I was a player, I didn't think these things mattered as much. I did them, but I didn't think they mattered. Or when the team's out there, are you out there ready? Are you ready? Are you stretched? Are you prepared to play? Are you just kind of messing around in the warm-up line? Are you really working up a lather to get ready for the game? How do you interact with your teammates? Are you a good teammate? Uh, are you somebody that's vocal? Are you quiet? You know, a, a lot of things that scouts and people look at, some of it is, I mean, you're going to see the big things. Can they play? But how are they? And do I want to work with this guy? Because when you're in season, you with the players, you with the coach staff, more so than your own family. So, mm -hmm. do I want to be around this person first? Do I see some of this person second? And how is this person? How can he fit to what we do? I like it. Yeah. So, when you see 
Last question on this. So when you see those players that are kind of nonchalantly going through the motions in like warm ups and stuff like that, obviously in the NBA it's different because you're playing like it's, you're playing an 82 game season. There, sure. there are points where like, hey, we're Golden State and we've coasted. I mean, we we it's January and like we were talking about a couple episodes ago, Demarcus is here and we're by the time we get him in groove, the end of March to April, those last like yeah. three weeks. All right, Quinn Cook. Like let's let's you know bring in the depth. What do you say about the people who sometimes nonchalantly just kind of go through the motions? Everybody prepares for the game differently. So if you're nonchalant and you're out there not producing, then I'm going to say I'm going to say that's a negative correlation. Uh-huh. Now, if you're nonchalant but you're focused, you're locked in, you're getting the shots up, and you go out there and kill, I can't tell you anything. You only. People only talk about it when it's when it's not the uh, the production don't match uh-huh. what you want. If it's mm-hmm. if you're getting I'm getting production, I can't tell you how to work out. I can't tell you how to warm up. But if you're not getting if I'm not getting the production I want, then hey man, you might want to try something differently to get yourself better prepared to start the game. Wow. You like that answer, Wayne? I'm in. Favorite movie? Who? I'm a movie buff. So hey, I lived overseas. All I could do is watch movies. Yes, okay. sir. Ooh, you're going to have to give me more than one. Inception. Okay, we'll give you three. Oh, three. Inception. Yeah, Zeb hype behind the camera because that's his movie. Inception. Dark, Dark Knight. Oh, Ooh. Zeb is out here about the LeBron <laughs> smoke in the air. Oh. So you're a Christopher Nolan guy. You like his movies. Man, he, that, and I didn't even notice that. Uh-huh. Mm. Black Panther is rising up the list. Hey. Black Panther is rising up. Wakanda, shake, Wakanda, the Wakanda shake, forever. Wakanda shake yeah, on. man. That, I mean, come T'challa. On, who, who? T'Challa. Yeah, T'Challa. <laughs> That's the first time you go to the movie and some, you see somebody like you, like, yeah, I know what you're going to say. I yeah. know, I know yeah. where you're going. They got their dashikis <laughs> on. Yeah, yes. That's what it was. Oh, Everyone goes in the theater and it's, you know why I'm here. Like, you know why I'm here. <laughs> you Don't know why I'm here. Hey, you just give them that nine, like, what? I know what? I'll be right behind you in the theater. I'm going to get my popcorn first. I'm That's right there. good. Yeah. All right, so let me ask you this. Inside of the NBA, okay. so here, us here at Entertainment Exchange, our, our backbone is, is faith-based. And so what we what we focus on is we focus on uh, Proverbs 3.3, 3, right? And so Proverbs 3.3, 3, in a paraphrase, says, Never let humility, kindness, loyalty leave you. Keep it with you so that you find favor with God and with people. Okay. So when you look at the NBA... Both G or D League, then to G League because Gatorade bought yeah. them, right? Gatorade yeah. sponsor. Sure. G League, and then in the NBA, where do you see humility and loyalty in there? Because sometimes people say, "Yeah, you need to be loyal." And then Isaiah Thomas situation. Uh, oh gosh, who else? You've got DeMar Kevin. DeRozan. Yeah, DeMar DeRozan. Yep, DeMar DeRozan. We love him. Don't even get me started on Kawhi. You've got. Uh, what's his situation? Uh, Kevin Love, even though everyone everyone left, he was like, I'm staying. And mm-hmm. He got paid to stay. And I was like, where do you see that loyalty and humility and all that stuff? I mean, I, th- I think all these players have stories, man. They all have families that they're representing, communities that they're representing. And so when you see guys get back and, and, and sacrifice off day to go help in the community, in Oakland, in where they're from, and, and just try to do things to help out, uh, you see the humility, you know, and they know that these, you know, that they have a platform that they can uh, affect change just by actions, just by not just giving you your treasures, but your talents and your time. I mean, you can give that to people and show, hey, I'm from here, I came from here, I started here, and I'm doing this now. Sometimes that's more valuable than giving somebody some some money. My dad always say, you can give a man a fish and he can eat for a day, or mm-hmm. you can teach a man to fish and never go hungry again. Mm-hmm. So, I think them going back into their communities. Showing that hey, you can touch me. I'm 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 a regular guy. You know, I I bleed. I, I cry. There's a lot of guys that do that too. And it's I amazing. think I think it's really I think it's there. You know, um, loyalty, loyalty and business are like uh, water and vinegar sometimes. Mm-hmm. And and I see guys who who sacrifice for the loyalty and for winning. But we also get on those guys for that. So it's like yep. you're never going to please the fans, honestly. This wow. Katie, <laughs> KD, you say he, he was unloyal, but he took less money to stay in Golden State, and then you're saying he's taking the easy way out. Well, he was just loyal. Mm-hmm. Now, you wanted him to be loyal for what, who you wanted him to be loyal to. He doesn't do that. Now he's loyal to somebody, and you still don't want that. It's like you can't. If you try to please people instead of pleasing God, I mean, it, it's, you're not going to be unhappy because you can't, ple- you can't please people. 
That's where we insert the organ music. Yes. <laughs> I want a piano like right here. I think you, <laughs> mini- you would be great with the piano. <laughs> <That'd be great. laughs> yeah, yeah. That for, the, for the studio. Shane yeah. or Shane. Anthony, we want to thank you for your interview. Wayne, why don't you sign off for the camera? Signing off. For the first time, look at me right here. It's your boy, <laughs> Wayne the Hat Trick Wizzy Webb. We love you guys, okay? David loves you guys. Anthony loves you guys. And we ain't gonna stop grinding for you guys. Peace out, Girl Scouts. That's right. Oh, man. Boy. Hey, Anthony. I wish I, 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 wish I did have I Shane Bunny. And it could play like Shane. Really, though. That's what He's a Marine, though. All right, Shane. <laughs>